Welcome to another tour of my sketchbook. My third or fourth part. It's been so long that I haven't kept track of it. But yeah, you know how this goes. I'm going to show you my drawings that I've done. Both good, bad, and hideous. See how it goes. Anywho, let's get into the first drawing. Here is the one that I drew of my character Nexus kneeling down using two elements, or probably three. You can see his right arm has lightning around him, along with small little rocks floating, if you can't see that. And his right arm arm generating a wind vortex, or perhaps a Rasengan-like ball. Now from this kind of picture, I was trying to make it into a mouse eye view, or lizard's eye view, or whatever its eye view is at. Anyways, I just wanted to create a dynamic pose from a low angle, but it didn't turn out as I imagined. It's like the hands and the legs are just like in the same position, and I do not have the anatomical knowledge for the body bending and the kneeling, and his arms rising up, but it's just like, eh. But yeah, case in point, no size perspective, can't even tell which body parts are close or far. It's like when you try to imagine something that would look so cool, but once you've drawn it, you realize to yourself and say, Oh wow! I can't believe I made this shit! Not exactly how I pictured. Damn! I wasn't really good at drawing the kneeling position. As you can see the spot I covered up, not the most accurate spot to draw. Next here I have drawn a hero charging through a titan. Now it might look faded because it was one of my rough drafts. I have always imagined a hero charging straight to the massive titan, using his strongest move to obliterate it. One guy would go like, and the other one goes, and then it alternates. At least that's how I visualize it. Stars exploding all over the galaxy, emphasizing the raw and unspeakable power through his fist, is what my mind was going through. You can see that I drew those large rings and those energy glowing effects, or auras, wherever you call them. I've always wanted to add those energy effects to be rainbow colored, like a prismatic rainbow color that's not too bright, but that really blends in with the environment. At least that's the kind of color I'm trying to go for. It's just that I like like the skill of blending variety of colors into my ideal one. Next we have Nexus and his arch nemesis duking out each other, fisting each other a thousand times. Okay, that came out wrong. Just punching each other a thousand times. Yeah, let's go with that. Yes, as you can see, I have drawn many fists clashing other fists. I mean, sure, it gives good practice on drawing the fists, but so far that's the only thing it's showing. No forearms or biceps connected to the torso. I mean, sure, I put like the blurring motion to it, but it just doesn't seem like it's connected. It's like I ended up drawing two people fighting each other with ghost fists. I mean, it sounds like a cool concept, but looking at it, eh, doesn't seem how I pictured it. I know, side view isn't that great. It's amateur drawing. There are a lot of scenarios in anime I've watched where two people are just punching each other a thousand times, so I just want to recreate that scenery. But yeah, case in point, not exactly the most idea looking, probably at the arms. Next here we have a variety of poses that I've drawn, also a gauntlet I drew. I was trying to make a golden gauntlet of what I wanted to picture, but as you can see here, it wasn't enough. But yeah, you can see that some of the poses are amateur, and others I drew from references. But the guy holding dual swords at his back, I think I did pretty good on that. But yeah, all the other poses I've done were from imagination and the rest of them are a bit faded, like that unfinished gun, a guy with long ass legs doing the front rising kick, Kamehameha stance, buff guy uppercutting, and the kneeling position, or perhaps the crooked superhero landing position. The guy pointing looked okay, although I could work on the foreshortening of his arm, and a few scribbles of stickmen, I don't know, for some gesture flowing? You know, looking at this, I think I drew so many poses for kicking, maybe because I like the perception of it. Now we have another variety of poses that I drawn. Don't mind what's happening on the scribbled one because that's an SFW. Can't display it here. It's unfinished anyway. This time I drew a bigger version of a Kamehameha stance and the front arm looks janked up. All of these poses you see here were all drawn from a reference so that I can get the feel of how dynamic poses work and how I can draw some fight scenes for it. Next we have a few doodles on 
understanding how the female body works. Now I tried drawing a few of them and following along the video tutorial I've watched. I think it was Super Mega or something. I tried following the video as much as I can. I kind of expected to like draw the full body hoping to go through the completed drawing but he just kind of fast forwarded so I had to make some pauses just to follow along. And here's what you see at the bottom right. And I kind of get an understanding of how a woman's body looks. Wide hips, thick thighs, big boobs, nice curves, you know the important stuff. Oh the metal is just some crushed up paper I drew for our class assignment. It's not really important. And finally we have Nexus in his cosmic form. You know, one of those transformations increasing their power. And I really would like it to draw him in a cool stance. If it were not for the disproportion figure, like his head and his legs, head looking so small like a freaking midget. The kneecaps are like so small and the shins are just too thick. I guess the upper body looks kind of decent, but the only problems are the head and the legs. <sighs> So yeah, this is pretty much all the drawings I've shown in this segment. A few of them I've drawn a lot of things and references. See how I can improve. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, leave a comment. This has been Nexus, and I wish everyone here a good day, and hopefully myself.